ഹലലൂയ എല്ലാവരും സന്തോഷമായിട്ടാണോ ഇരിക്കുന്നത് ഏഹ് ഓളാ ഹാപ്പി റിയലി നിങ്ങൾ മുഖമൊക്കെ കണ്ടിട്ട് എന്തോ വിഷമിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു പറയൊക്കെ തോന്നുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് ചോദിച്ചാൽ നിങ്ങൾ വിഷമിച്ചിരുന്നാലും സന്തോഷത്തോട്ട് ഇരുന്നാലും എനിക്ക് പ്രസംഗിച്ചേ പറ്റുള്ളൂ സോ ലെറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾ പ്രേ പ്ലേസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ആൻഡ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ് ഓൺ ദ ബോർഡ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ടോപ്പിക് ദ ഹാവ് സെലക്റ്റഡ് ഫോർ ദിസ് മോർണിംഗ് മെസ്സേജ് വട്ട് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഫിയർ ആൻഡ് ഹോപ്പ് ഭയത്തിനും പ്രത്യാശയ്ക്കും ഇടയിൽ ഭായ് ഓർ ആശക്കെ ബീച്ച് ഭയത്തിനും പ്രത്യാശയ്ക്കും ഇടയിൽ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഫിയർ ആൻഡ് ഹോപ്പ് ഐ നോ ദാറ്റ് യു ഓൾറെഡി ഗോട്ട് സംതിങ് ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് ദാറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഐ എം ഗോയ് ടു സ്പീക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദിസ് മോർണിംഗ് ബട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ബിഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ലെസ് ഓർ ബോർഡ് ഓൺ ഹെഡ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് ഗോ ലെസ് പ്രേ ഫോർ എ മൊമെൻറ്റ് Let's pray that the Lord will encourage us this morning time. We know that we all are going through many, many, many difficult situations and many other sickness and problems, uh, difficulties and all. But our God is in control and God is able to encourage us. Even Jesus also was sharing about, you know, be strengthened, be strengthened because we have the weapons, right? we have the weapons and we have the weapons from the bible and we are reading that i mean god has i mean filled us with the power of the holy spirit and we have this power hallelujah so let us all i mean look into the lord in prayer this morning and i would request that joe stand to uh, lead us in prayer now for a for a moment let's all close our eyes in the presence of god so that i mean we will receive the word of god this morning time praise the lord hallelujah you know that you know between fear and hope is a is a common um, phrase or common usage that uh, even in the secular world also the people are using the same thing in different places eh? because it's a common thing that every one of us have fear right every one of us have fear in one side or other side okay so everywhere we are fearful sometimes and that's the reason you know i was just taking that topic we know that um, you know uh, i don't know anything about the the, the scientific i mean meanings and scientific uh, things about the 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 word uh, fear but i know that we have more than enough doctors and uh, uh, those who are working in the medical field you can ask to them you will you will see I men what is the what what are the reasons of the fear of the people what are the emotions of the people and all those things i mean you can you can get it from the medical field but my concern is not all those things but my concern is the spiritual strength the spiritual you know you know in 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 spiritual way how can we overcome the fear of a person so that is my concern this morning so i was giving that i mean uh, a beautiful title between fear and hope bhayathinum pratyashikkum idayil you can see there is a there is a picture you know fear is there and the hope is there so in between the fear and the hope so i'm going to talk about all those things because you know most of the people many a times they are fearful about many things in this world you know it's a, it's a, it's a world which is uh, filled with uh, the the difficulties and the problems and the sufferings and all those things but many a times we are not thinking about what the bible says about fear and what is the hope that we are getting from the bible i mean so you know even even you, you know which are which are the places which are the areas that we are fearful about that we are fear about and sometimes we are fear about our children their studies hmm? their career and our career you know our future hmm? sometimes we are fear about uh, 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 the loss of our job eh? you know you know some, somebody is i mean fear about having the fear about uh, i mean when they are driving they are thinking and then the kalamar keru okay you know i was just thinking about this you know the most knowledgeable people are more fearful i I'll, i'll prove it you know the people those who are having more health and the people those who are having more wealth and the people those who are having uh, more knowledge they are always 
ഫിയർഫുൾ അബൌട്ട് സംതിങ് നമ്മുടെ വീട്ടിലെ കിലോക്കണക്കിന് സ്വർണം നമ്മുടെ വീട്ടിനകത്തുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഏ പൂട്ടിയിട്ട് പോകുമ്പോഴും രണ്ട് പ്രാവശ്യം നോക്കും ലോക്കായോ 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 നമ്മൾ നോക്കിയിട്ടേ പോകത്തുള്ളൂ അല്ലേ വീട്ടിലൊന്നും ഇല്ലെങ്കിലോ നമ്മുടെയൊക്കെ വീട്ടിൽ കയറി ആരെങ്കിലും എന്തെങ്കിലും എടുത്തോണ്ട് പോകും ഏ നമ്മുടെയൊക്കെ വീട്ടിൽ കയറി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ആ കയറുന്ന കള്ളൻ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും അതിനകത്തോട്ട് വെച്ചിട്ട് പോകും ഓക്കെ പക്ഷെ നമ്മൾ ചിന്തിക്കുന്നത് എന്താ അയ്യോ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഒത്തിരി ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലുണ്ടല്ലോ നമ്മുടെ നമ്മുടെ വീട്ടിനകത്ത് ഒത്തിരി സ്വർണ്ണമൊക്കെ ഉണ്ട് ഒത്തിരി വാല്യുബിൾ ഐറ്റംസ് ഇഫ് ദ ഇഫ് ദർ ഇസ് സംതിങ് വാല്യുബിൾ ഐറ്റം ഇൻ അവർ ഹൗസ് മെൻ വി ആർ ഫിയർഫുൾ അബൌട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വി ആർ സെയിങ് ഓ ഡിഡ് ഐ ലോക്ക് ഇറ്റ് വെരി 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 വെൽ ആൻഡ് ഹൗ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ഐ മീൻ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് ഐ മീൻ വിൽ എ തീഫ് കം ഇൻ സൈഡ് ഓർ ടേക്ക് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദോസ് തിങ്സ് റൈറ്റ് വൈ വി ആർ തിങ്കിങ് അബൌട്ട് ദാറ്റ് യുനോ ഒത്തിരി നമുക്ക് അറിവ് ഒത്തിരി ഉണ്ടെന്ന് തുടങ്ങി ഞാൻ ഞാൻ എനിക്ക് മനസ്സിലായ ഒരു കാര്യമുണ്ട് ഈ ഡോക്ടേഴ്സിനെ ഒത്തിരി കൂടുതൽ പേടി അയ്യോ ഇവിടെ ഉള്ള ഡോക്ടേഴ്സിനോട് ക്ഷമിക്കണേ സോ ദേ ഹാവ് മോർ നോളജ് റൈറ്റ് ദ ഡോക്ടേഴ്സിന് ഒത്തിരി കാര്യം അറിയാം അപ്പം അവർ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു ചെറിയ പ്രശ്നം ഉണ്ടായി കൊന്നേ അവരെന്താ ചിന്തിക്കുന്നത് അയ്യോ അത് ഇങ്ങനെ ആയിരിക്കും അങ്ങനെ ആയിരിക്കും നമ്മളൊക്കെ പലപ്പോഴും ചിന്തിക്കാതെ ചെറിയൊരു പനി വന്നാൽ തന്നെ നമ്മളെന്തോ വിചാരിക്കും അയ്യോ കോവിഡാന്നോ ഏ നമ്മൾ ഉടനെ എന്തോ ചെയ്യും കോവിഡ് ടെസ്റ്റ് okay so when we are getting a small maybe cold or uh, fever that we are thinking that okay it may be the covid it may be some, something else eh? something el- else uh, the sickness you know the, the dangerous sickness or something like that then we are going for the meditation uh, sorry medication you know the reason that we have more knowledge about something that we are fearful about many other things eh and oru buddhi illatha raal anengilo oru pani vanna endo yum korchu kuda mala ullu ഇപ്പം ഞാൻ ഞാൻ ചിന്തിക്കാറുണ്ട് ഒരു ബുദ്ധി ഇല്ലാത്ത ഒരാളാണെങ്കിൽ ഇതുവല്ലം പേടിക്കേണ്ട കാര്യമുണ്ടോ നോ ഫിയർ ഫോർ ദോസ് പീപ്പിൾ ബിക്കോസ് ദ ക്യൻ ഡു എനിത്തിങ് ദ ക്യൻ ഡു എനിത്തിങ് ദ ക്യൻ മൂവ് ഐ മീൻ ഔട്ട് ഓൺ ദ ക്യൻ ദ ക്യൻ ഗോ എനി വേൾ ഐ മീൻ അതൊന്നും ചിന്തിക്കാത്ത ഒരാളാണെങ്കിൽ ഈ കാര്യമൊന്നുമില്ല നമ്മൾ ഒത്തിരി ചിന്തിക്കാൻ പോകുമ്പോൾ എന്താ ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ ഫിയർ കൂടുന്നത് കേട്ടോ അത് ഒരു 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 റിയാലിറ്റിയാണ് ഐ മീൻ വെൻ വി ആർ തിങ്കിങ് മോർ ആൻഡ് മോർ ആൻഡ് മോർ ആൻഡ് വെൻ വി ആർ ഐ മീൻ യു നോ പോണ്ടറിങ് അബൌട്ട് ഐ മീൻ സംതിങ് ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു നോ ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വൈ ദീസ് ആൻഡ് വൈ ദാറ്റ് ഓൾ ദോസ് തിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ വി ആർ ഫിയർഫുൾ അബൌട്ട് മെനി തിങ്സ് യു നോ ഈവൻ വെൻ യു ഗോട്ട് ടു ദി സെക്കുലർ ഫീൽഡ് യു വിൽ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ദ സെക്കുലർ ഫീൽഡ് ദ ദ ഡോക്ടേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദേ ആർ ഗിവിങ് ഐ മീൻ മോർ സജഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് അഡ്വൈസസ് ഫോർ ദ പീപ്പിൾ ദോസ് ഹു ആർ ഹാവിങ് സം കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് സിക്നസ് ആൻഡ് യു നോ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു എ ഡോക്ടർ ടു മീറ്റ് എ ഡോക്ടർ വിത്ത് സം കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് സിക്നസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഡോക്ടർ വിൽ ബി ഗിവിങ് യു സം കൈൻഡ്സ് ഓഫ് അഡ്വൈസസ് ആൻഡ് യു ക്യാൻ ഡൂ ദീസ് ഓർ യു ക്യാൻ ഡൂ ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് യു ക്യാൻ ഗെറ്റ് വെൽ ഓഫ് ഐ മീൻ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് റൈറ്റ് യു നോ വെൻ ദ ഡോക്ടേഴ്സ് ആർ ഗിവിങ് ദ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ okay and then uh, uh, if you are having a uh, uh, over cholesterol okay so the doctor will say okay you do this exercise right huh? if you are over having over uh, cholesterol the doctor will say you do this okay and uh, uh, if you are having uh, diabetic or uh, any other uh, diseases the doctor will be giving some exercises okay if you do this it will be okay okay so exercises that when we are doing the the secular doctors are giving i mean more advice about what you can the practical advices that you are doing and that may be you know it's true that it will help you sometimes you know for you know when when we are having the the sugar complaint or uh, or uh, uh, bp complaint or any other i mean problems in our health uh, and we are doing that exercise you know we, uh, many of our i mean uh, brothers and sisters they are they are running you know they are doing for uh, the walking or going for the walking or da- running you know why we are doing all those exercises eh because we need to get rid of all this sickness okay and that is true you know medically and uh, you know in in the secular field when you are getting some kind of advices like that you know even uh, we know that we we are we are always some I men uh, uh, thinking and we are concerned about our health right you know you ask to uh, jason brother he will tell you I men i don't know anything about that but he is uh, he is running for the marathon even in, in this 25th also you know he is, he is running for that and he is concerned about his health and he is suggesting to everyone here you know like the other day and he was telling me also pastor also you want to you also want to run and
you know the the the, the secular field the secular advices secular med medical advices will help you sometimes at the same time the uh, maybe apostle paul also supporting that sometimes you know you, you, you put the the next one see see what is that read that read that first timothy chapter 5 verse 23 ah read that yeah And the Kartave. You know, what is that verse? You know, Apostle Paul is talking to uh, a Timothy the pastor. You know, uh, you know uh, today, um, uh, Jay sister also was sharing something about Timothy. You know, Apostle Paul, he is uh, uh, giving the advice for uh, the pastor of Ephesus church. I mean, he was a young pastor. Okay, Timothy was a young pastor in uh, Ephesus church and uh, Apostle Paul is giving a beautiful advice that, you know, a, a Timothy, you are always drinking, I mean, water, just water. You are drinking water. Okay, stop drinking only water and use a little wine because of your stomach and your frequent illness. You know, and then Dinde the Nimitta Medakara can the You know, the hi, but you walking under the Alcar on the Nodu. Kinana Adi Okay. See, listen, actually, you know, why Paul was doing that? Now, why Paul was giving the advice for, I mean, uh, the young pastor Timothy about this, okay? There was a reason. You know, there are some people saying that, okay, you, the Bible very clearly says that you can, you can also have some little wine. Like, alpum kandia. Sevi kya. So, Bible ni paradhan dandwa. Eh? Madhivikindana gorpo illa. Do not be intoxicated. Hmm? Nurja? Alek, bheenye kudi chandhi irudh. Matag, Rangan Rakund. Being a good chim Matag, Apapin and the being a kudikam, send the umbrella Mataga the Ramadi. A train could be gathered in Namadi and the Chalal Gariba and get her under. Eh? Could you give them a good pillar? Korchak could tell them? That's the reason that you know the, the social drinking today. It is allowed for everyone. Hmm? But Bible very clearly says that, you know, why Paul was uh, uh, advising the young pastor Timothy. That he was saying something that during those days the water was not pure water. The, those days, and he was having Timothy was having some kind of illness with his stomach. Okay, stomach and all that Bible Malaratra Editilla. Okay, then the Sarira Tana Jirna the Matavan Matra Editolo, but it is very clearly in English that you have some kind of sickness with your stomach and that's the reason i mean you don't drink only little all uh, sorry uh, don't drink water always but you can also take little wine that wine is not the alcoholic wine you know many other uh, people are saying that okay there is a there is a permission there is a there is a license for uh, drinking in bible even paul also was saying no it is not a license for drinking but it is just a medical you know you know medicinal what, what you can say medicinal i mean uh, uh, remedy yeah medicinal remedy uh, for uh, the illness of his stomach okay so paul, paul was saying I mean, always you are drinking water and because of that water only, it is not a pure water. So that's the reason that you are getting, again and again you are getting ill and you are sick. I mean, so because of that only, you can have little little wine. You know, we know that the grapes juice and grape wines uh, were available there. It even, you know, uh, I have an experience in, uh, in Goa, when we were ministering in Goa, um, uh, we were staying in a, in, a, in a rental house and that owner was uh, a Catholic. Okay, so Goans, they are Goans, maybe Anglo Indians. Okay, so uh, one day I, I said, uh, uh, we, are, we are coming uh, to your house and to, to visit you. And he, uh, they, the family said, okay, Yes, pastor, you can come to our house. And it was in Goa, okay? It was not in Kerala, okay? So, you know, uh, and then I said, uh, okay, okay, we are coming. Then the, as soon as we reached there, I mean, within within few seconds, that uh, man who was there, the owner of that house, he was asking me, uh, dear one pastor, uh, can I take whiskey or brandy? Can I take whiskey or brandy? He was asking me. Then I said, no, 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 brother, I don't uh, drink that's okay, no problem, no problem. Because they usually drink this. I mean, they, they were in, in Goa, it is common. 
in Goa, it is common. Every, you know, every, I mean, in, 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 in every one kilometer, you can see uh, one bar. Okay, so it is common in Goa. So those people were drinking, you know, Catholic people, they, they used to drink. And they were asking me, can I take something like, you no, know, one bottle. Okay, so the, the problem is, the problem is, you know, when we understand the Bible wrongly, then we also will be doing that. Okay, but when we understand the, 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 the word of God rightly, then we will, go, 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 we will not go for those things. Because there is a reason behind this verse, why Paul was writing to Timothy. But let me tell you one thing, you know, this is an advice which is uh, given by uh, Apostle Paul to Timothy. And he was giving an advice, or advice Okay, so again, yeah. Oh, that verse is not there in English fully. Can you read that verse maybe from the Bible? First Timothy. Uh, yeah. No, no. Before that. Yeah. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 8. Okay. So what is that verse? It is written. The physical exercise is only of little profit. Alle, sharira piyasam edana. Alpa prayojanam ulla datre deiva bhaktiyo ippadate jeevandeyum varuvani rikkinda dene vaaktatham ulla dagaya sagalathilum prayojanam agunno. Endana? Well, physical exercise is, you know, there also Apostle Paul says that physical exercise is good for you. Eh? Physical exercise is Good for you. Do the physical exercise, whatever you can do. When it is good for your health. At the same time, what is the next sentence is very important. And godliness is profitable for all things. When, so physical exercise is a matter of only of little profit. Or alpa prayodana matrame ollu. Eda. Alpa prayodana varjandana. Only for our physical body right you know ipo nammal jeevichirikkan vendi nammal aarogyam kittan vendi endiya adu paulus parna karyamana so you can do the physical exercise only for the, the, the temporary need of your health when but it is not a temporary it is not a permanent thing you, you know the physical exercise cannot take you to the heaven no, that is what we are reading there. The physical exercise is very good. You can do that for this life, for this life. But for the other life, that means the, the life to come, and the godliness is pro profitable for all things since it holds promises for the present life and also for the life to come. Hallelujah. So the godliness that we are trusting in God and we are walking in the ways of God, then that is beneficiary for the people of God. And that will can that can take you to, to, to heaven also. And this is a I mean great thing that we have to understand. Many a times we are not thinking about that. When we are doing all the, the, the physical exercises, but we have to balance that. That's the reason in the first uh, I mean a slide it was written that uh, fear is there and the hope is there. Okay. And what is our hope? One day, one day we will be in eternity or in heaven okay so for that this physical body is not fit enough for that right you know ee sharira kodu namakku ivada parannu vanokku eh ippurthe sharira nammal endina in exercise okke cheyyune ivada jeevikkan vendiya alle ivada korchu varsham kodu jeevikkan adinu vendiya she idu kaiyitte namakku ivadnu parannu pogunna samayathu ee sharira kondu parannu pogunokku illa ee physical exercise orikkalum namakku swargathilekku ettunadinu prayojana padathilla adinu parannirikkana karyamana i mean you have to have the godliness and that will and the promises of the life which is now and for that which is to come hallelujah and that is our hope hallelujah our hope is not in this world but our hope is in heaven our hope is in eternity and that for that we are supposed to be prepared enough 
Hallelujah. And we have to exercise and we have to follow the commandments of God and we have to follow the word of God very clearly that that will take you to heaven. To heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then I was thinking about these things and uh, I was just um, thinking about, uh, you know, many times uh, the people of God are fearful about many other things. You know, about the, 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 maybe the, the, the temporary things, you know, I mean, uh, like uh, our livelihood or our, our children or our, I mean, future and all those things that were we are worried about many things. You know, our fear is leading us to, sometimes leading us to, uh, to the anxiety also. And sometimes it is leading us to uh, the, the mental stress. Okay? We are sometimes depressed only because of the fear. You know, because the fear is controlling us. But the Bible very clearly says there is, there is a hope in the word of God. That is the, the next one, Albin. Yeah. Yeah. Fear is a spirit. Now, we will talk about that maybe in later. But in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, it says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. And how many of you believe that you have a spirit of power and you have the spirit of love and you have the spirit of sound mind? It is not the spirit of fear. Hallelujah. Eh? Oru 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 Subodha Tindayim Atmavane Shakti Udayim Snake Tindayim Subodha Tindayim Atmavane Karta Tanata Namal Pandi and Rikia Pedichura Tirikia Namal Pai Pedirikia Namakandel and Dagal Chelawa Kambu Namakanda Pedia Pedi and then I predicate I mean our future in the hands of God that you are not supposed to be fearful about anything. Hallelujah. Many times we are fearful about many things and our future because we are thinking, okay, for that I need money, for this I need money. I mean, God is in control and God has everything and He is the He's a great God and He is able to provide for the people of God. We don't want to be fear about anything because we have the spirit of power. We have the spirit of power. We have the spirit of sound mind. Hallelujah. And we have the spirit of I mean, love. I mean, because always we understand that fear is a spirit. I mean, it may make many other, uh, many other, I mean, it may cause many other problems in our, in our life. So that's the reason I told you that, I mean, we can overcome all these things. Okay, we are going to the, the next slide uh, very, very quickly. I mean, yeah, you know, fear creates a feeling of bondage. Okay, so many a times the fear is creating a, you know, and then, or adimatutende, or feeling on a palapur If fear there, eh? So the people, those who are having fear, they will be always feeling that, okay, I am in, I am under slavery, I am in a bondage, and I am bound, and I, I cannot do anything, I cannot move forward, I cannot, uh, I mean, I mean, say something, I cannot be, I mean, free, because I am under fear, under the stress of fear. When many a times the people of God, I mean, we are stressed out because only because of the fear that uh, that which is controlling us. Man, but this morning, let me tell you one thing. Let us all, I mean, take, I mean, take victory over the fear which is spreading in our lives many a times. It is which is providing in our lives. Hallelujah! You know, you you have to understand. You know, for example, Adam and Eve. Okay, they were hiding themselves under the tree. Only because they were fearing God. Okay. The question comes here. You know, they were the pedi or the other number and the end of Shondo. They were the son in the name. Only can't have Shondo. The Namaka the Yuba Ile. Eh? Namaka the Yuba. We fear God, right? Eh? We are fearful of God and we fear God. Then the Yuthan Bakti and the number of Bible Tana Vikan under and then Yehova Bakti, Yanathan the Arab of Agano. Fear of God is beginning of wisdom. Okay, fear of God. But Okay, Okay, So fear of God is good. At the same time, here we read that the fear of God 
in a different dimension about Adam and Eve. We know that the history of Adam and Eve, they were not supposed to eat the fruit of that, I mean, uh, the uh, 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 fruit of that uh, tree which was in the middle of the, uh, the garden. And God said, do not eat that. And they ate it and, uh, I mean, they uh, lost their glory and they lost their, I mean, everything and uh, they became the sinners. And uh, after becoming sinners, they understood that they are naked and they understood that, okay, we cannot stand in front of God. They were hiding themselves only because they were fearful about God. Okay, So the people, those who are disobeying the commandment of God, the people, those who are not believing in the commandment of God and obeying the commandment of God, those people are hiding in the presence of God because of the fear of God. But we people, I mean, those who are obeying the commandments of God, the people of God, those who are, I mean, I mean, following the commandments of God, we are not hiding from the, not hiding from the presence of God, but we are I mean, standing in front of God and asking, oh Lord, this is our request. Hallelujah. We are bringing <coughs> our prayer request in the hands of God because we believe that our God is a great God. Our God is a loving God. We are praying we don't want to hide in the presence of God because we are following the commandments of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's what we are reading there. They were fearful about God. They were fearful about God only because they were disobedient in the presence of God. And again, you know, focus on God will eradicate the root cause of fear. Okay. For example, Noah and family in the ark. When the fear of God that means the focus on God so will eradicate the root cause of fear. The root cause of fear, there are many things that we have to understand. When we are taking Noah and family as an example, think about, you know, those people were always trusting in the Lord. Noah was preaching against the people and uh, I mean, uh, Noah was uh, uh, I mean, delivering the messages of God at the same time. They were safe in the, in the, inside the ark. Noah doesn't know what is rain. Noah doesn't know what is ark. Noah doesn't know what is flood. He knows that the, the, the water is coming in the ground. But he was he never see the water is coming from the sky. Right? He never see the, the rain and he never know that the water is coming from above, from the sky. He know that the water is there in the, in the ground. I mean, it was not a flood from the ground, but it was a, it was a flood from, from the sky. Right. Okay. Now, what is it? What is it? Flood? What is it? It is not a human being. It is not a human being. It is not a human being. I mean, there are many things that he was, I mean, there, there was many chances that he could have, I mean, fear about, I mean, many things. But he was not fearing anything. But he was not fearful, for, fear, fearful about many things. But he was always trusting in the command of God. I mean, whatever God said, and it is very clearly written that whatever the Lord said, he did it. He did it. He did it. Hallelujah. When you are focusing on God, when we are focusing on God, Hallelujah, that focus on God will take away or eradicate the root cause of the fear. That's what we are understanding about the Noah's and uh, Noah and family in the ark. Hallelujah. And uh, we, had a, we had a wonderful chance to I mean, see that uh, Noah's ark in Kentucky. You know, Kentucky jungle boy, what a huge, uh, I mean, ark it is. I don't know if I can see it, I don't know he was not fearful about anything because he was not knowing anything. Amen? He was not knowing 
anything. He doesn't have idea about anything. That was the reason that I believe that that was the reason he was not fearful. <laughs> when we know many things, we are fearful about to doing something. Okay. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is what we understand from the life of Noah and his family. We will go to the next thing. Hallelujah. The next thing is do not be terrified by the circumstances. There are many examples which is given in the slide. We are going to look into each one of them. First thing, Peter terrified and he was sinking down to the water. The first example is Peter. You know, many times we are terrified about our circumstances. circumstances. Okay. So the problem is, you know, many times we are fearful about many other circumstances. Okay, this is there okay, in freeway. There are many. The, 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 the flow of, uh, I mean, vehicles are more. And, uh, you know, we have to uh, change the lane. You know, it is difficult. Many times in spirituality also, we are fear about Many other circumstances. For example, Peter. I mean, God, Jesus was walking on the water and Peter was in the boat and Jesus said, you come to me, Peter. Then he just got out of the boat and he was walking on the water. On the way, he was looking into the circumstances. He was looking into the waves. He was looking into the water and he was just thinking and all these, oh, what a, what a great thing that I am doing. And also the circumstances was not permittable. It was not suitable for him and he started to sink into the water. No, This is the main reason that many a times we are sinking into the water in this world with, with many other things because of the circumstances. Hallelujah. But Jesus said, no, 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 no. You are not supposed to be sink down into the water. I'm lifting you up. Hallelujah. 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 Just like Peter. Hallelujah. Jesus asked, Why are you worried about all these things? Why you are doubtful about all these things? Why you are, I mean, you know, in, in Bible scholars are saying that again, Bible, uh, there are, uh, there are, I mean, 365 times it is written, Do not fear. Do not fear. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. How many times? Maybe more than that. I didn't count, but somebody said 365 every day. That means every day God is saying, don't be afraid, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. But even then we are afraid of many things and we are fearful about many things. In the name of Jesus, in the Hallelujah. He was so much fearful and he was summoned sinking into the water. And the second example is Moses was afraid of Pharaoh. That was the reason that Moses was asking to God. God said, you go to Pharaoh and tell him that, okay, I'm going to do something. Then Moses, no, 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 I cannot do that because I cannot go and I cannot stand in front of Pharaoh. He is he's an Egyptian king. I am having a problem with my tongue. 
I am having a problem with my speech. I cannot speak as my brother Aaron is speaking. I don't know how to speak. I mean, I have some problem with my tongue. And God said, no, 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 you don't say that. I mean, God is going to use you and I'm going to give you Aaron or say, as a, what it is written, as a, as a helper. Okay. 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 Eh? We are fearful about many things and we are asking, Oh Lord, I cannot do that. I cannot go there. I cannot do that. But God says that again, you will be able to do that because you are Moses. You have something in your hand. Hallelujah. When he was crossing the Red Sea, we understand, you know, Moses was asking God, What shall I do, God? Hmm? They were standing in front of the Red Sea and you know, dividing the Red Sea was not an easy task. Right? Dividing the Red Sea was not an easy thing. But God enabled Moses to, I mean, open and divide the Red Sea into two, into two parts only because he was trusting in the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I know that there are many things which is impossible for every one of us. But nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. Hallelujah. That's we are understanding for the life of Moses. That he was strong. And he became strong. And he was many doing many other things. And next one is Joshua. Yes. Joshua was not, a terri was not terrified of circumstances. Hallelujah. We know that. You know Joshua was the follower after he came after Moses and he became a conqueror, right? Joshua became a conqueror and he was a wonderful leader of Israel. He was a wonderful leader of Israel. You know, about, you know, in, when you're reading uh, the book of Joshua, you will understand what are the, what are the hindrances that, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Joshua was supposed to face. You know, we understand the conquering the Canaan. Okay. It was the task which was given for Joshua. Moses was not able to raise them into the Canaan. But Joshua was supposed to take them into the Canaan. But it was not an easy task. On the way. From when you're reading Joshua chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 and 6, you will understand that. You know, there are many things that Joshua was conquering. Crossing Jordan was not an easy thing. Eh? Conquering the Jericho was not an easy thing. Conquering City I was not an easy thing. Defeating many kings and gentile nations in Canaan and capturing. Canaan was not an easy thing. But it was possible by Joshua only because he was not fearful about anything. He doesn't think that okay, what is behind me and what is ahead me. And he was always trusting in the Lord and asking because, because God said to him, do not be afraid Joshua. I will be with you. I will help you and I will strengthen you. Go ahead. Hallelujah. This is what this morning also the Bible very clearly says that in the last one, you can see that, uh, I mean, that, that verse which was, uh, I mean, because, I mean, we trust in God and God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. And we have the spirit of power. Hallelujah. How I many of you believe that this morning time? I mean, we are not under the, I mean, I mean uh, under the spirit of uh, uh, fear, but we are under the spirit of God. The spirit of power. We have that. Hallelujah. You know, as Moses, as Joshua, I mean, as, uh, I mean, Peter, I mean, whenever they were terrified, fired with the circumstances. Hallelujah. Many times God said, do not be afraid of any of these things. Hallelujah. You move forward. Hallelujah. Can we, can we, can we close our eyes in the presence of God and let us pray together for a while. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the, what is the title today? Amen. Hallelujah. Between fear and hope. Hallelujah. I mean, it is, it is very clearly we have to understand that there are many things that we are fearful about. Man, maybe at, about our future, maybe at our children, maybe at our church, I mean, maybe about, uh, I, mean, I mean, our relatives or sickness or, uh, I mean, I mean, career or job issues or all those things we are fear about, fearful about many things. But the Bible very clearly says that if you are obeying the word of God, if you are standing for the Lord, I mean, if you are standing for the Lord, that 
nothing is there to i mean harm you i mean there is nothing to i mean be fearful about but you will be conquering many other things in this world hallelujah our church is going to conquer the place our church is going to conquer the city for the name of god for the glory of god because we are not under the fear but we are under the power of god hallelujah Hallelujah. Let us also say to the Lord. Namukka karthavu nudu parayan. Dayu me. Nengal idu palappu nengal bhaayu pidu nama virana. Bhaayu mulla virana karthavu. Nengal bhaayu te maatchadu me. Karthavu nengal ke tanda irikki nada. Bheeru tutti nda atmavu ni alla karthavu. Hallelujah. Dayu me nengal ke atmavu ni shakti yana tanda irikki nada. A spirit karthavu nengal ke pramichu kondu. A parishud atmavu ni shakti yoda jivipa nengal ke saha ikkana me. Etra verkkan da valkala prarthi kyan sadikim. Hallelujah. I mean God will enable you. God will enable you to defeat something. and god will enable you to conquer something just like joshua hallelujah joshua was a was a same person as me i mean he was a simple man i mean moses was a simple person but god used them only because they were focusing on god when they were focusing on god the fear of their life was completely eradicated from their life hallelujah and let us also pray oh lord many a times we are fearful about many things oh lord about our future oh god but we need to understand oh lord we are trusting in you oh lord we are hoping for an eternity we are hoping for a i mean for a for a heavenly places oh lord hallelujah amen even i mean even though we are going through the suffering even though we have many i mean difficult situations oh lord as master we understand that uh, you are there and you will take us into heaven you will take us into the completion of the hope of our christian life hallelujah let's pray for that let's uh, surrender our life to the presence of god and uh, we will as we are praying together i would request uh, uh, reggie brother to uh, lead us in prayer now praise god hallelujah